channel and thank you so much for being here. Today is a continuation of my series Best Of and we're actually going to be doing a full face with it because it's going to be cosmetics. It's someone that you have requested. Best Of Hourglass. So if you want to know more about that hit the subscribe button, share this video somebody you think might like it and let's do it. All right as you know I am a huge huge fan of Hourglass. Um, Hourglass is a cruelty free line. I have been a supporter of them since their logo. I don't know if you guys can see this but since their logo looked like this, this is what it used to look like. When they came on the scene, they were very exciting to me. Yes, they are a luxury brand, but they went luxury and they also went cruelty free. A lot of their products now are vegan and I believe by 2020 or 2021, all of their products will be vegan. So I love supporting this. I also am a huge fan of luxury makeup and I love to feel still like I have luxury and everything looks so pretty and I am not compromising the animal population. So let's jump into this. First of all, I'm gonna talk about primers. I have used their um, oil primer, and their hydrating primer, and as well as their mineral veil primer. For me personally, I don't feel that Hourglass really excels in their primers. Um, I know a lot of people love the mineral veil. Um, so if you love it, fantastic. It just never was one of those that I ever really reached for over and over again. Um, yeah, so I just, I don't use their primers. I don't usually use a lot of primers. All right, so let's jump into this. So I'm gonna try to use as many of my favorite products as possible. Again, I have used this line for so long that I have a lot, so I'm not gonna bore you with everything. But one of my new favorite products from them, that's not new to them, but is the Illusion Skin Tint. And I am going to apply that all over the face and I'll show you why. <laughs> All right, so I really use that as more of a primer. It's just a hydrating base that I really like to pair a lot with foundations. Now, when it comes to foundations from them, this is really my favorite. Um, they have the stick foundation. I have a foundation Friday on every foundation they have, which is the stick the Illusion, and the Vanish. I have a Foundation Friday on every single one of them, so take a look if you want a little bit more detailed explanation. Now, I, I, for me, it's, I feel like they keep making, like, mattifying foundations when their brand really is all about this kind of glowy, dewy, healthy-looking skin, which I know they need to cater to everybody, but for me, it's just, yeah. But the Vanish Seamless Foundation, um, I have not used this for a little while, so it's not one of my absolute favorites, but I do like to pair it sometimes with this tinted uh, moisturizer. So I'm just taking that. Um, for me, I'm in Shell, and that's the same color I am in their stick. Um, I don't know, for me, it just, this foundation is just a little bit, to matte for my skin and I'm just gonna do a really light wash. That's how this foundation works best for my skin. Um, I really like it like this because for me, I don't like wearing a ton of this foundation. It's just a little too drying, but it looks really, pull my hair back here, it looks really pretty with the skin tint underneath it. I'm sorry, that headband was giving me a headache. Um, all right, so I just <laughs> pulled my hair up all oh, pretty. All right, so for concealer, they don't really have a quote unquote concealer, but they do have the fluid, the retouch fluid, which I absolutely love. Do I think you need to buy this? I'm just gonna be very honest, no. Um, but this is how I use it. I actually use it kind of like a concealer. Again, it's not really supposed to be used that way, but you absolutely can if you are a diehard hourglass fan. If you don't have any, you know, super dark circles or something like this, this is supposed to be literally um, a fluid that you can use over powders to retouch the skin throughout the day. It is a more of a matte highlighter, so it just gives dimension to the face. It's really pretty. I, I really enjoy the product. Um, I just, it's one of those in the line that I feel they just had to add because um, they didn't have anything like this. The benefit 
um, the Benefit Dandelion Do, I think it's called, is a much more affordable and it does the basically the same thing. Um, but that is the retouching fluid right there. Now let's go to eyes. Now my favorite thing to do with eyes is with Hourglass, I leave my eyes bare. I don't use any primers. I don't do anything like that. I like to go with the natural um, color of my lid, which is pretty, it's pretty significant. My, my lid's pretty discolored, which is fine with me. But this is where I think they really excel. I think they really excel with their bronzers, blushes, and their powders. Um, that is for me where I fell in love. So I love, they come in a lot of different colors. My favorite color is bronzed light. And you have seen me do this a million times. I love to take this all over the lid and blend it out. It is extremely pigmented, easy to use, talc free. By the way, all of their powders are talc free. And it just, and it comes in a, a softer color. So if you are fairer than me, it comes in a much softer color, just so you guys know. And this is one of the things I do. Again, you've seen me do this a million times, but this is what I do on a daily basis when I am on camera or when I'm not on camera, when I just want to look really polished and kind of more fashion forward. This is what I do. I'll take the same darn bronzer, small brush underneath that eye and smoke it out. My kit is not stocked properly unless I have Hourglass. All right, so most days I will leave it like this, um, but I do love to use their cream eyeshadow. Uh, my favorite color is Rapture. You've seen me again use this quite a few times. You know my feeling on this. Is it a good product? Absolutely. Do I think you need to spend the money on it? Not really. Do I think that the splurge is worth it on a bronzer, a blush, a powder? Absolutely all day long, for sure. I do think the splurge is worth it for the skin tint. Um, watch that foundation Friday on it. But what I do like to do as well is I will take one of my favorite color blushes by them. Again, they make an array of different colors. I love the purple one. The peach is so beautiful. Um, but this one is most universal in my opinion. This is called Luminous Flush. It's the first one I ever purchased. And it is a beautiful pinky peach color. And if you've watched my blush video, you know that that's a great way to get both tones, pinky and peach, in one blush tone and it's usually very flattering. So that's what we will use today um, on the cheeks. But I also love to do is take it on the same brush that I did my eyes with and pop it right here. I do this a lot with their purple one because my eyes are green. I mean, you guys, it's just, they blend so easily and so quickly, so effortlessly. They're not, you know, overly shiny. They're not going to make you look like a disco ball. I mean, they're just fantastic. I have tried the Milani dupes for these, and I, they actually are in a dupes video I did. Yes, they are pretty, but they are just not the same. The way that they mill these powders um, is just superior. They're also baked. So these powders are all baked. Um, and that means that they were a liquid once and then they baked it, turned into a powder. So it doesn't have that chalky, cakey finish to any of their powders. All right, so speaking of powders, let's go ahead and set the face. These ambient lighting powders are by far worth every single penny. If you have never found a powder to set the under eyes and you're above the age of 35, or anybody could use them, but really honestly, 35 and above, um, it's such a great powder. They are called finishing powders. So of course, you can go in all over the face. I'll actually show you how to do it. So they're mineral veil powder, okay? They came out with this recently. It's extremely good. I don't know, I just, I have a hard time telling you guys that you need to spend a ton of money on a powder, but it is very, very good. Um, it has a little bit of natural luminosity to it. It is not cakey. It is not drying. So it would be good for all skin types like oily, normal, dehydrated, um, but it is not going to dry you out. So oily skin girls might need a little bit more mattifying pow power than this. All right. So that's how they recommend you set the foundation. I don't do that all the time. I will oh, just set the whole face with this bad boy. Okay, so you take your finishing powder. I like to try take it on a 
smaller brush or a damp beauty blender. That's one of my favorite ways is a damp beauty blender and just run it under the eyes. My hand has really, really light pressure and you can definitely use too much of this product. So make sure you use a light hand. And then you take your powder brush, go back into your finishing powder and go all over the face. And what this does is it gives a really beautiful natural luminosity to the skin. Fantastic powder. I, you know I can't say enough amazing things about their ambient lighting powders. That's how they drew me in. You guys, they're so good. All right, let's go ahead and brush. No, let's go ahead and bronze and blush up the face with the colors that I just told you and I used on my eyes. <laughs> That blush and bro it's just, it's so easy to apply it. Okay, so let's go on with Caution Mascara. This mascara they recently launched as well. It's a good mascara. Is it my absolute favorite? No. Do I think you probably could get L'Oreal's Lash Paradise and be just as happy? Absolutely. Um, but you asked for a full face as well, so I want to show you it. It's a, it's a great mascara. I use it more often than I like to admit. Um, it's just a really great, great product. Um, it really separates those lashes. It does not flake on me. Um, it is pretty much humidity proof. I have not had it run on me, um, except when I work out. Like if I work out in makeup, which I hardly ever do, it will run on me then. Um, so do I think that I, this is something I would repurchase? Yes, because I love the brand. Um, but I know that there are just as good of other mascaras out there on the market. I mean, and the packaging is just, their whole, their whole packaging is just so beautiful. It pulls me in every time. We're almost there. So um, their brow products, they came out with a brand new eye pencil, and I am sorry, but I do not have it yet. It, for some reason, I, I love the brand, but I don't feel like, oh, I go to Hourglass for eyebrow products. Again, you know that I believe wholeheartedly in the NYX or, or the NYX from, you know, Target or Ulta, um, they have fantastic eyebrow pencils. So I, I do, and I have used this one. I use the one in Ash. This is their original eyebrow pencil. They didn't come out with this that long ago. It's called Brow Sculpting Pencil in Ash. It's good. It's just thick. Like the application applicator is just kind of thick, so it makes it sometimes hard to apply when you want a really precise line. They do have um, eyebrow gels, and I was really into them for a really long time because they are really, really good. Um, they have tinted ones, they have uh, clear ones, uh, but I actually gave them away in donation because I didn't use them and I thought that somebody uh, would really enjoy that kind of luxury product. But I, um, I do really like them. I, I just, again, for me, I don't necessarily know if I would go out and repurchase those. CoverGirl has an amazing one that they just came out with uh, that is very, very, very good. Same with Glossier. Glossier has boy brow. Very similar. Okay, so that's, again, not where I think I would spend all my money. Um, this is also something beautiful. They have a couple different colors. It's their highlighter. It is one of the prettiest highlighters I have ever used. I will say that. Um, my favorite color is Incandescent Strobe Light. I, you know me, I don't use a ton of highlighters. Um, I only usually do that if I'm going out, but it is a beautiful highlighter for anybody, but specifically mature skin if you're looking for that because it is so finely milled. It's not gonna accentuate texture. You don't need very much, um, but if you are an hourglass lover, you're not gonna go wrong with these highlighters. These came out, and I again, so I'll say it again. Uh, Hourglass came out with a lot of new lip products. Um, I tried a few of them. They're gorgeous. I just don't feel pulled to spend that kind of money on a lip product. The only one that I've ever found pulled to do that is the YSL lip stains. I don't know why. They're just so good. I just have never found myself drawn to go out and spend money on a luxury lipstick. Now, Charlotte Tilbury, on the other hand, gives you some really fantastic lipsticks. But again, I don't know if I wasn't a makeup artist or a YouTuber, I don't know if I would go out and purchase them. They make some beautiful ones in the drugstore. I, 
I don't know. So that's kind of my feeling, but this one is my favorite from, um, from Hourglass. All right, so here we are. This is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed it. You know how much I love this brand. I just feel that it makes the skin look stunning. Um, I like what the company stands for. It gives you a little bit of luxury without the guilt, in my opinion. Um, I, I Again, I don't love the whole, whole brand. Um, I mean, they have good products, but I don't think that's where you spend the money. Obviously, you know, I think we spend the money on skincare. Um, but if you are looking at Hourglass, the things that I'd recommend, of course, are the bronzers, blushes, and the ambient lighting powder, and even the uh, Mineral Veil loose powder. It's fantastic. But that's where I would spend my money. Um, the rest of it is just gravy, in my opinion. The rest of it is very, very good, but it's just gravy. If you just wanted to stick with the brand and you're trying to maybe transition out of, like, say, Dior or YSL, and you want to come to an equally luxury brand, that's what I would do. Um, and the reason why I focus on the bronzers and blushes is because they are so multifaceted. It's a multi-use tool. They can be eyeshadows and they can be blushes and bronzers. Um, I just, it looks really beautiful on the skin. So thank you all so, so much for being here. Please feel free to comment in the comments section. Continue letting me know what brands you want me to do and we'll work our way through them. Thanks so much. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye guys.